Max. Yes, sir. Hit that air raid sign. It's time for Monday Morning Fallout. Monday Morning Fallout, of course. When we overreact to everything from the football weekend and what a weekend it was. We will start with my three big thoughts. First thought, we finally got to the fireworks factory. (laughs) So it got teased a couple of weeks in the Texas high school football playoffs. and, And we always feel like in the playoffs... There's one round where everything goes nuts, Mm -hmm. where there's just tons of upsets all over the place. Mm -hmm. There were a couple in the first round, a couple in the second round, a couple in the third round. And and you and I started having this thought. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the fireworks factory over there. We're driving to it. But it just seems like we're never going to get there. (laughs) It seems like maybe this year we're not going to get there. Maybe there's not going to be that one that one week where everything goes crazy town banana pants. Maybe we're maybe it's just going to be a calm, chalky, we uh, playoffs this year, maybe. And then this weekend happened, and we finally got to the fireworks factory. Holy crap! Did mm. everything go out the window? I mean, you have to really. Now, now look, there are big bad bullies on the block who who held serve. Alito beat Saginaw Boswell. Allen beat Duncanville. Things like that. Yeah. There are there are there are games. Although man, Duncanville played well. First half they did. Yeah. Darn sure did they. D- darn sure they did. Fourteen, fourteen and a half. Mm-hmm. Time. Nice job by Coach Samples out there. But so there's there are games that that held to form, right? There are games that held to form. And then there was just insanity across the state. We had, I think, at least two. Prohibitive favorites to win titles go down. Yeah, for sure. Okay, one of them we're going to talk to their coach in a minute. Art beat Newton thirteen to seven. Newton had looked untouchable. Yeah, they had looked like they were going to walk to a title. Right. It looked. Right. Uh, it, it looked like there was a no yeah. contest. Yeah. It looked they like okay. Handled a really good Elysian Fields team, just with ease. Who Arp lost to? Yes. Yeah. I mean, and so here's an ARP team that's, you know, they're 11 and two, and and so that's that's great. But I mean, they've they've lost to Tatum, they've lost to Elysian Fields, like, you know, maybe this team just just doesn't have it. And and beyond that, I mean, two weeks ago they beat, you know, or, or last week they beat Crockett, but they need a, a late late field goal to beat them. Yep. You're like, okay, maybe this just this just isn't the year. Yeah. And instead, the defense holds this high powered Newton attack to 150, 168 yards. Unreal. 168 yards. They didn't give up a touchdown until like the last minute. It's pretty great. That was a shutout, basically. Yeah. yeah. We were basically sitting there going, it's 13 nothing with like eight minutes left. And I'm like, man, they're just not going to get into this. And they scored with like two minutes to go. Mm-hmm. And you're like, ooh, maybe, but nah. And they get the onside no. kick and it's over. No. And you start looking now between. between <laughs> <laughs> Who of in 3A Division 2 now. Art beats Newton. That's the big one. Right. Flying under the radar is Bowling's win over Lexington right. to win Region 4. Right. And then Canadian beats Sonora in overtime. Right. I mean, you start looking around, and basically the only the only one of the semifinalists in 3A Division 2 that I think we felt like, okay, they, they, they're probably going to get there was Gunner. Besides that, I mean, Canadian, Gunner, Arp, or Bowling is going to win the state championship at 3A Division 2. That is something that is going to happen. Yep. One of them is going yep. to. So you're either go, you're either going to have yeah. a team that moved up from two A, you're either going to have Gunner who very quietly has put together a great year, yeah, great defense, unreal defense, Arp, who is a team I think a lot of people had written off, yeah, probably maybe like the third best team in that region going into the playoffs, and bowling, yeah, one of them is going to win a title, yeah, that's only getting started. Yeah. We had a task to see to beat North Shore, yeah. another defending champ goes yeah. down. Yeah, <sighs> it's a good weekend. There was that. Oh, yeah, and then there was the last game of the weekend. (laughs) Temple, man. Temple takes down Manville. Blue front, white back magic. And in a game that, again, all these games were close, and and we we, we made sure to mention that on Friday, that all these games were close, all these games could go any which way. But holy cow. Yeah. It was a remarkable week of upsets. Yeah. And now we're kind of picking up the pieces and trying to gather our senses here. That some of the big time there, Brock went down. Yeah. Walby Brock. Yeah. Another defending champ. We have just four defending champs left. 
West Orange Dark, Canadian, Bremond, and Richland Springs. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. We finally got to the fireworks factory. <laughs> Thought number two. Thank God that's over. I can't imagine what you're talking about. College football season in Texas is over except for six bowls, and I'm actually really happy that none of the teams are playing after New Year's Day because I want to wad up 2016 and throw it in the trash. I'm with you. That is, and, and honestly, what more perfect way, what more appropriate way for the 2016 college football regular season to end in Texas than for Texas to go 0-3? Yeah. Baylor loses to West Virginia. Give him a run. Loses yeah. to West Virginia. Kansas State beats TCU. Texas State loses to Arkansas State. 0-3. Oh, Couldn't even get one out of that one, huh? Thank God that's yeah. over. Thank God that's over. Ugh. And number three, the cruelest round. We're now in the state semifinals. Boy, it is, isn't it? It's the cruelest. We're now in the state semifinals. And this you is are one win so away. This is, and you know what? This is, the, this is something that I've taken from my newfound love of soccer. Yeah. In, in England, that if you if you go across the world, really, if you watch a major tournament yeah. in soccer, mm -hmm. they always talk about the semifinals mm -hmm. as because if you make if you make a title game and you lose, OK, man, you got that's there, that stinks. You but got you got there. there. Yeah. You got there. And you'll always be remembered. Maybe you'll be remembered for losing the title game, but you'll be remembered, but you'll be remembered. You will be in that box score. Forever. Forever. You are etched in Texas high school football history if you make it to at and yeah. Stadium. If you lose this week... No one will remember a thing. You're a footnote. Yeah. This is the cruelest it round. Is. It's unreal. To be in this position is an incredible honor. Yeah. To, to, you have shown so much to get to this point. Yeah. And it's going to end for a lot of them. A it lot is. of great football teams are going to be done after this week. It's it's it really is. And this is and, and the thing is all these games are obviously they're state title game caliber. Yeah. Because the teams in it yeah. are really good. Yeah. The difference is that one of them one of them you punch a ticket and the other one you go home. It's it's pretty pretty amazing. Amazing. So those are uh that's those are my three big thoughts. Three helmet stickers. First helmet sticker to Richmond Foster wide receiver Sedarian Lamb. Had himself a game, Holy man. Holy cow. Uh, this kid, first of all, I mean, this is not rare. This is what he does ten seemingly every week. Right. But in, in Richmond Foster's win over Dripping Springs, Sedarian Lamb catches nine passes for 226 yards and five touchdowns. Yep. He had four in the first half. <laughs> he had four touchdowns in the first half. <laughs> this kid is a freak. Yeah. This kid is a Free. We got an interview with him uh, with Matt Stepp uh, post game going up on our website today, so check Thanks that out. Sam Houston State wide receiver Yedidiah Lewis, yeah. I think it's Lewis. Lewis. Yedidiah Lewis. Yeah. They beat Chattanooga. They eked it out. They got a run from Chattanooga, but Sam Houston State still alive. They're in the Elite Eight of the FCS playoffs, and Yedidiah Lewis catches uh, 156 yards and three touchdowns worth of balls. Uh, pretty remarkable stuff from him. They are still rolling, and. That Bremond dude. quarterback Rashad Paul. That dude. That dude. Um, I didn't see. I, I didn't. I want to see those those final stats. Let me see if I can pull them up real quick. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find his stats. Um, okay, let's see. Well, thank you, Waco Tribune. They yeah, man. Okay. Forty-four carries. Okay. Stop. 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 Who are they playing? They're playing Tannehill. Yeah. Tannehill, a team that I think had given up 56 points all year. Yeah. One of, the, one of the best defenses in the state. Rashad Paul carries 44 times for 266 yards and four touchdowns against maybe the best defense they'll see all year. Maybe. Unbelievable. Yeah. Rashad Paul gets a helmet sticker. Three teams to watch. I'm going to ask man. man. Dude. The region of death. Dude. If you if it, when we talk we sat in these chairs and we yep. talked about six A Division One Region Three yep. and what a minefield it was, mm -hmm. what a minefield. Yeah. Katy, Galena Park, North Shore, Houston, Lamar, Dickinson, Dickinson, heavyweights all over. And here's little old nine pound eight ounce Umbel Tascasita. Doesn't even know a word yet. And they beat the defending champs. Man. They beat the defending champs in overtime, and it is just proof positive that sometimes you just have the guy. 
DCTF Live's own Craig Stump has coached him up. Davion Boyd at quarterback has Boy. been unreal. Davion Boyd has been out of control. Man. I mean, and so now this week, this week they will draw Lake Travis. It's going to be tough. And it's going to be but tough. But you know what? It was, so tough against, it was tough against Houston Lamar, and they beat him. It was tough against Galena Park North Shore, yeah. and they beat them. They but, found a way. The smack talk has already started on Twitter. The, and the let me Tascacita tell you, the guys are dude, already, already talking. The way Atascacita is playing right now, and they got, they got that guy. They do. They got that guy. He's watching. awesome. Lamar, Lamar University. We talked about it on Friday on our mailbag show, yeah. but Ray Woodard was dismissed at, as the head coach of Lamar after seven seasons, and so Lamar is open. Keep an eye on, on the coaching move there because that, I think, is a sleeping giant of a it program. It is. If they get the right guy. If they get the right guy who can just draw a circle around Beaumont, draw a circle, yep. circle around the Golden Triangle and say, we're just going to get the best players from here, yeah. then all of a sudden they are a super, super threat in the Southland Conference. So Lamar is a team to watch. And bowling. I feel like I think – I don't think I've picked bowling to win a game this year. Uh, I'm sure I have. Oh, you have but to have. Yeah. I have to have. But – Everything like I know, I pick Lexington to beat them. Right, and I don't know who they beat. I'm, I I need to pull up a bracket, but um, I don't know who I um. Oh, let's see. Uh, I got. I got. I'll pull up a bracket. I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure they've just made a made me look like a fool every single week, which is not hard. But they've well, done and it. you should know better because Coach Dore was on the show over the summer mm-hmm. and told us this was going to be a good team. So I picked them to beat Comfort. I believe I picked them. No, I might have picked them to beat. Oh no, I think I picked them. I, I think I picked them to beat Odom. You probably would. In a regional yeah. regional final. I definitely I know for a fact I did not pick them to beat Lexington. Yeah. I know for a fact. Yeah, you but were bowling with and, hand with Lexington. Bowling and Vernon Jackson keep finding a way, and now they will take on ARP this week. So uh, uh watch out for bowling. This is a team that is just rolling right now. Bowling is rolling. 